A pet owner in East Palo Alto is now facing thousands of dollars in veterinary bills after discovering her cat had been shot. Really awful. Crowd Force Gail Ong joins us in the studio with this story that's kind of hard to believe, Gail. Yeah, Grant and Noel, the vet bill overwhelming for the pet owner. The cat is overdue for surgery to remove a bullet and fix his broken leg. It's over here on this side, and then this is the broken, yeah, right here. See it? Shauna Glenn is showing us the hole she yeah, found in hole. her cat, Baby. Right. So I took him into the vet, and um, we had an x-ray scheduled, and um, they found a bullet. X-ray images showing that bullet inside the cat. And then this is the leg, the, the bone right here that's broken. The injury was discovered last month. Glenn initially thought it was from a cat fight at the time. A police report has been filed. Glenn says her cat was shot somewhere near Lincoln Avenue and East Bayshore Road in East Palo Alto. I don't know if it was intentional. I don't know if it was a stray. Um, but, you know, he has it inside and it needs to be removed. Glenn was told baby needs two surgeries, one to remove the bullet and the other to repair his leg. The vet bill worth over $5,000. And many people do not have an extra $5,000, you know, laying around for their pet as much as they would want. Joan Quinn is a program director for Guardian Heals, a nonprofit that helps pet owners pay for veterinary care who cannot afford it. We investigated, along with Shauna, a number of different hospitals to see uh, where we could find the best care at the best price. And yes, it is expensive. Uh, part of it is that's two surgeries need to be performed. Glenn got a quote from Peninsula Pet Hospital in Menlo Park. The doctor treating baby tells Cron 4 it appears the cat got shot on its left side and likely broke its leg running away. Quinn says veterinary bills have skyrocketed after the pandemic. The nonprofit is raising money to help cover some of Glenn's vet bill. We believe that no pet owner should have to lose a beloved pet simply because they can't afford to pay for veterinary care. Meantime, Glenn is keeping baby close by indoors. It's horrible for him to, you know, suffer like this. And you know, I just want to get the procedure, the operation done. And East Palo Alto police say they do not have information on a suspect at this time. We did post details on that nonprofit helping the cat situation on our website, cron4.com.